Okay, welcome to racing game tutorial number four. Uh, by now at this point, you should have the car driving around, we should have the checkpoint, we should have the starting line, and um, now for this one, this is, this is where we're going to end up right here with our lap timer and our best lap time. Uh, just to paint the picture again, uh, we're going to be starting our lap timer, as you can see when we start going around, and then our best lap time starts at 100, and now my best lap time is going to be 10, right? That's what that lap was. And if I go around again and I beat it, right now we get 8. If I beat it again, we want to just keep updating for every time we get a, uh, a lap time that's better. All right, look at that. And I keep uh, improving my score. All right, so we have a little bit of coding to put in as far as where our lap timer and best lap times are. Um, this is kind of confusing, so I'm going to leave my example up here. <laughs> I may be going back and forth between it. Uh, this one and our um, our project that we've been building together. So this is what we've been building together. This is where you should be right now, right? We have our starting line, uh, our checkpoint, and uh, of course our minivan with all of our code on here. All right, so I think our first step of the process now is to make uh, our two variables. So we're going to make our lap time, sorry, lap timer. All right, and then we're going to also make uh, our best lap. Put this one over here for the sake of doing everything the same way. All right, so uh, in the beginning, we want everything to, uh, or we want our, we'll focus on our lap timer right now. So we want our lap timer to reset to zero when our flag is checked. So our flag is checked, and we want to, in our variables, set our lap timer to zero. All right, now once we cross over our lap timer, once we touch this, sorry, <laughs> once we cross over our starting line, we want our lap timer to start. So we can say forever. Uh, if we are touching our starting line, then we're going to start our lap timer. So for our minivan, if we're touching the starting line, we want to broadcast, we'll say, we'll make a new message, and our broadcast message will just say start lap timer. Cool. All right, so we're going to start our lap timer, and we're going to have this thing start counting. So when I receive, uh, when I receive start lap timer, we want our lap timer to first of all go back to zero. I know that's going to happen twice for the first one, but the reason why we have it in here is so it keeps resetting for every time we go around. And this one here in the beginning, uh, we want this here for wherever we ended up the last game that we played. We want it to go back to zero to start over for our first one. All right, so we will have it twice. It'll be redundant for the first one, but uh, after that, it will be necessary for the, uh, the, the, the different actions in the gameplay. All right, so set lap timer to zero. Uh, then we want our timer to start counting up one number every second. So we can say forever. We want to change our lap timer by a factor of one that's hidden behind my magnifying glass there. Um, and then we want it to change by one, and then we want it to wait one second. So we can say in control, wait one second, and then keep on counting up. All right, so we're going to touch the starting line and it's going to start counting. Now here's going to be the issue. Uh, we can even see it right here. I'm going to go over the starting line and I'm touching it, but I keep touching the starting line and that is going to continually send a message to start the lap timer. And you see it's not going right now. So that's not what we want. All right, this is why we built our checkpoint in the uh, previous tutorial. Now we're going to put in when we, start, when we touch the start line, start the lap timer, but wait and don't restart the lap timer until I hit this checkpoint out here. Hopefully now it makes more sense that uh, we want to have some other event happen when our car is on the other side of the track to be able to prevent someone from cheating or just the wrong codes in general from, from being broadcasted out within this program. So we'll start, we'll reset everything, and we're just going to put that in there right now. We're going to say wait after we broadcast stop, or start lap timer. 
we're going to say wait till we're touching that checkpoint over on the other side. Okay, now we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're touching the start line, and you can see my lap timer just starts counting. All right, now what's going to happen is I'm going to get over here. I'm going to touch that checkpoint. And then I'm going to keep on going around, and now when I get to here, we reset. Okay, All right, and if I accidentally go on the inside on the grass a little bit, I'm still going to have that reset happen. All right, because I'm still going to be touching part of that checkpoint somewhere on the other part of my um, somewhere on the other part of my my course. All right, awesome. So that stops that there. Now we have our lap timer. Now we're ready to get our best best lap time situation going. So we are going to say when our flag is clicked, we want to set our best lap time to some high number, right? We always want this to keep updating like we saw before. So I found a number to start with that's good as, as 100. <laughs> you could make it higher than that if you wanted to. Um, but I want to start it with something ridiculously high, so you're probably going to beat it the first time around. And then it'll fall into that loop of update it when you do a better lap time. So we'll say for starters, set best lap time to 100, right? which we'll do right here. Now we're going to beat it this time around. So let's just take a look at my code right here. All right. So we're going to say set best lap, best lap time to 100. Wait until we touch the starting line, right? because we have to roll over the starting line in the beginning. And then we're going to fall into this loop of checkpoint starting line. And every time we hit the starting line, we're going to check to see if the best lap time is greater than the lap timer, and then we can update it. All right, so let's go ahead and build this thing. So we'll go in here and say, wait until we're touching the starting line. because you see where our car starts, we need to touch the starting line, and then we're going to fall into this loop. And we're going to fall into forever, checkpoint, starting line, checkpoint, starting line. And we'll say, wait till we touch the checkpoint. We can actually just duplicate that there if we want to. And then we're going to duplicate that same thing, wait until we're touching the starting line. And now we can say, right, so a lap was just completed, and we're going to say if best la or if the lap time that we just got is better than our best lap time, then update everything. So let's make sure we get everything uh, correct here. All right? and I'm actually going to go back to my demo to make sure I tell you the right thing the first time around. All right, we want our best lap time. If our best lap time is better than our lap timer, then update it. All right, so best lap time is greater than our lap timer. All right, so if best lap is greater, then set best lap to whatever the lap timer is. All right, let's see how we did. Right now we're at 100, hit my checkpoint, hitting the walls quite a bit. Cool, all right, so eight's my best lap. See if I can beat it. Seven's my best lap. I don't know if I'll be able to get better than that, but my timer is working and everything looks good. All right, and actually that was a good one, a good test right there as well, all right? If I had get a time of like 10 seconds, nothing should happen, right? It shouldn't update my my best lap timer, all right? But it did, it did update uh, the regular lap timer right here. All right, so that takes us up to the end of this tutorial. Um, best of luck putting in these codes. Of course, we could do them a little bit differently if you wanted to. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll talk about some of the additional elements that can be added in.